the school year of 2014. A group of 16 students from SAS Pudong and Pushi went on a trip. They journeyed to the mountainous region of Shijo with two teachers. They began their preparation months before the trip. Have you ever taken the time to wonder whose hands your food went through before it got to your plate? I want to find possible ways to reduce the amount of labor during farming. In order to investigate the possible advancements and sustainability of agriculture in Shijo, one must first consider the past and present of Shijo's farming industry before the future. Let's begin with the past. This is a thresher. A thresher is a device used for separating grain from the stalks. The thresher shown in the picture is a traditional Shijo thresher. Mr. Hu told me that with the new thresher, they were able to harvest more kernels than with the original thresher. Though the efficiency has now increased due to less work being done by hand, since it is simpler to grow crops now, the price for rice has gone down. Also, even though the water usually flowed into Urhai, the fields would occasionally flood, and so what they did was they built canals. The excess water would then flow into these trenches, and the farmers could also use this water during dry seasons. Also, before, Changdo was a staple crop, but now it has been replaced by garlic, which is for export to Korea. Since exportation provides more money, the people of Shijo then decided to make garlic one of their staple crops. Now moving on to the present, they now harvest crops differently. Due to the latest advancements in farming, there are now two new machines. Above is a gasoline powered thresher, but there is also a foot powered thresher. This machine helps the farmers collect the grains off the stalks without too much labor. It is also able to collect the 10% of kernels that are lost when using the traditional technique. This next machine is called the Shogoji. It is a tractor-like machine that does the job of the thresher and the sickle, only 20 times faster. As Mr. Lee, the farm tool salesman, informed me, rice is currently the only crop with such mechanical assistance provided. So, as a result, crops such as Changdo still have to be handpicked, and it takes a lot of time. Garlic is also a large issue since it dries up and damages the soil. With the repeated growth of garlic, the damage done is slowly being compiled, ruining Shijo's environment, which is not tailored to grow garlic. Farmers in Shijo also avoid the use of pesticides and other farming chemicals as to avoid possible problems before they are evident. All of these issues also work together with the standard problems of pollution due to modernization and also a slow decrease in the price of rice. Now to move on to the future of the Shijo agricultural industry. This is Mrs. Zhang. Her husband is a farmer and they are only one pair of the many citizens of Shijo that have been using the same farming method for their entire life. This must change though in order for Shijo's farming industry to flourish. One notable change that could be made is rice duck farming. The duck eats all the weeds and pests. Its excrement fertilizes the rice and its paddling oxygenates the plants. Imported machinery from areas around Chijo is another possible solution, but this solution is less reliable. Also, with great advancements in the fields of science and technology pertaining to agriculture, it is possible to make farm tools such as less harmful pesticides and more non-pollutant machinery. With these, Shijo's agriculture will be greatly pushed forward. But now, the farmers in Shijo have sold their land to large corporations for housing once Shijo is up and coming. This caused Shijo's population to be ready to react quickly, with many of them sending their children overseas and some preparing for retirement. To discover Shijo's true sustainability and advancement in terms of farming, I found the changes from the past and present to discover the future. To conclude, Shijo has many paths to take in the future, so long as these paths remain untouched. On the trip, I learned that I could accomplish difficult feats if I put my heart into it. I learned more about farming in general, specifically farming in Shijo. On top of this, I also know more methods of farming and how they vary from place to place. I believe that I left a neutral impact on Chijo, but I hope in the years to come, I am able to positively impact all those who watch my video. 
I have accomplished what I had hoped to, and my desire is that others keep this topic in mind for the future. I wish to bid farewell to Shijo and to thank all who helped me to make this video.